Hello, I'm Judy Royal from the Royal Treatment, and this is Food for Thought, Nourishment for the Body, Mind, and Soul for the week of January 20th. And of course, we're working with the full moon energy from last Thursday. And the card that I chose from the power deck, Lee, Lynn V. Andrews, um, is so typical of what we're all working towards. And the card that I chose was Harmony. And this time I'm going to start with the, uh, the definition of the card. The painting is entitled, Sunrises in Eternal Places. The painting symbolizes you sitting in the sanctuary of your truth and harmony. <clears throat> Surrounding you are the snowy mountains of your higher consciousness. You're perfectly balanced between the planes of higher universal consciousness and earthly consciousness as symbolized by the globe. Now, harmony lives in the lodge of balance and involves equilibrium between the physical and spiritual aspects of your life. For there to be harmony, there must be balance. Imagine yourself as the hub of the sacred wheel standing in the center. This wheel must function every day of your life. If you imagine that the self is your physical self, <clears throat> and the West, your emotional self, the North, your spiritual self, and the East, your mental self, you see that you stand in an ancient wheel of truth. Consider whether you spend as much time in the physical as you do in the spiritual. Are they balanced? Are they in harmony? Reflect on whether you spend more time in your emotional than you do in your mind. Adjust your daily life by being aware of your actions and behavior patterns to incorporate equal effort in all the directions so that your wheel will function in perfect harmony. Well, now, what does that mean in everyday life? Perhaps we need to ask ourselves a few questions. For example, if you ask yourself the question, am I balanced in my physical self and my emotional self? I guess you'd have to say, Am I well grounded in the physical? Do I feel centered? Or am I feeling very flighty and fragmented? We need to find balance between being out there and constantly wanting to connect with the divine and being grounded uh, with Mother Earth. The other question we might want to ask ourselves, um, are we balanced in terms of our emotional, and our, our mind. Now, think of this. Are we emoting all the time and having little control on our emotions? Um, are we creating the drama? Or are we being pulled into somebody else's drama? It's a good time to ask the question, what does this have to do with me? And that will determine whether you need to get pulled into somebody else's drama. <clears throat> so, we think of, um, actually, what other people think about us is really not our business. So it really doesn't have anything to do with us. So think about whether other people are creating the drama and you're getting pulled into it, or you are actually creating drama over and above what needs to happen. Now. You might also want to ask, are you spending too much time in your mind planning, organizing, orchestrating, strategizing? Is there a need for you to understand everything, why it is the way it is? And in Soul Genesis terms, one of the destiny gateways is um, called unknown focus. And this is a challenge for many of us and one that we're actually working on in this present energy. And this is um, all about allowing the soul to guide through the heart without the mind having to know all the ins and outs of it. So it's living in the state of unknowing, which just thinking about living in the state of unknowing is enough to cause anxiety. But it just means letting go of the expectations of how whatever you want to manifest uh, let that go. You don't have to orchestrate how things will be manifested or created. 
You just need to open the doors, set your intention, and then allow it to happen. That's the state of living in the unknowing. So we all know when life is out of whack, we feel um, unbalanced. And so to get back on track, we need to take a look at each of those four directions and what needs attention to bring that back into focus so that that wheel turns around us and we're on the, in the eye of that storm, not on the perimeters of it. And so with that, I'll leave you um, with some thoughts and um, reflections. And I look forward to hearing from you, whether it's through my website, my email, Facebook or a telephone call. I love to hear from all of you. And um, I'm hoping that your week ahead is um, all that you expect it to be. Bye-bye.